A lot of talk about this one, our big cruiserweight title. Archie Austin in the red corner, the shorter, slightly the two men. Julian Polk in the blue, big support for both. Five rounds of action, the cruiserweight title at stake. And as I said, when Best of the Best was announced and this matchup was announced, a lot of interest in this one. And it's Austin leading with the jab, Polk backing up steps away as Austin looks to come forward starts fast looks to push Polk back referee gets between them Polk looks to lead with the jab but Austin letting the combinations go early it's a fast paced start for a potential five rounds for the man in the red corner pushing forward again looking for those left and rights looking to keep Polk under pressure Confident start from the man in the red corner. And again, as he gets inside the longer reach of Julian Polk, he just lets the shots fly. Archie Austin. Left hook from Polk there, but Austin continues to push forward. And again, as soon as the shot comes out from Polk, Austin throws the combinations. Polk loose-limbed and staying composed and disciplined. Austin continues to push forward in this opening round. Polk looking to tie him up here. Throws the jab and again as soon as the jab comes in, it's the combination work from Austin. Nice footwork from Polk although he's under pressure oh Austin just about hitting on the break referee lets it go Spencer so it's been a busy opening round from the red corner with little combinations like that and the right hand over the top well you've got to say he gives a little look to Pope there Austin and that for me he did take that opening round So no, two of five and Austin very busy in the opener what will Polk's reaction be here in round two Gain a stiff jab from Austin as he comes forward Polk looking to get his own right hand going now and Austin continues with the combinations oh and no love lost there as you can see as Austin pushes Polk away and looks for that big right hand again as he comes forward and it's the combination work catching the eye at the moment although Polk is beginning to let that right hand go more so Polk's throwing that right hand without setup Austin's coming back with those punches in bunches those little clusters of combinations a good left of the body and the right uppercut certainly outworking his opponent at the moment and continues to come forward the left hook out of range looks for the big right good footwork from Bolt as I said he stayed composed he's not been upset by the work rate throws his own right to the body there and a stiff jab from Polk as Austin came in looks for it again and Polk throws that combination work once more Polk just leaning into him but Austin's a good work rate across his opening two rounds stiff jab from Polk and just just missed with the right hand Austin as he continues to keep these combinations going Austin hands low as he comes forward no worry about defense he's just looking and the offense here 
and his hands are low now. They are around his waist as he fires the shots. But he's kept up a very good pace over these opening two rounds. Certainly in control. As we approach the bell for the end of the second, he certainly put the work rate in. With combinations like that, two down, three to go, the midway point next. And I've got Austin taking the opening two rounds. So the midway point, round three here, key point moment in the bout. I've got Austin two rounds up as we reach the midway point. And Austin leads with that jab again, very confident at the moment, looks for the big right hand as well. Throws the jab to the body. Pope still got the footwork, the hands are high. But the work rate isn't there compared to his opponent in the red corner. A nice jab and then hook to the body from Austin. And again a little body hook, then the left and right coming forward. And Pope having to tuck up tight. And Austin continues to put these combinations together, beginning to dig to the body, then doubling up to the head. And it's the third round in the row where he's kept the pressure up at a good pace. He's set the intensity levels for Polk to try and live with. At the moment, it's working in Polk's, against Polk in Austin's favour here. And Polk looking to work behind the jab, but Austin remaining busy and putting those little lefts into the body now. And again, he's got his hands down and a beautiful left hook. He came forward, hands down. I said he'd been working that left to the body. And this time he just really dug that left into the midsection and Polk had to take the knee. He'd been setting that shot up a good two, three times before he really landed cleanly. And he's looking for it again. Well, big third round for Austin. The writing was on the wall there with that left hook and beautifully delivered for the count. He's in control of this bout with two rounds left. So four or five. And I've got a feeling Austin will look to go body snatching again. How will Polk respond to this? Good stiff jab from both men. Polk needs to protect that body because Austin will be looking for it once more but then if you protect the body he can double up with the hook to the head and Austin again walking through the shots of Polk to get his combinations going Polk throws out the jab he's got to be aware that Austin will look to dig deep to that body there it is again this time with the right hand It's been a solid, non-stop display from Austin so far across these opening rounds. And it's all over, he's seen enough. There just was not enough coming back from Polk. Spencer saying you've got to fire back, it's a good call from our referee. Austin acknowledges his opponent, but he shut out his stall from his opening round. Kept up an incredible pace. And it was the body snatching that finally took the Cruiserweight title. And Spencer eventually said there's nothing coming back, it's one-way traffic. And it's a fourth round TKO for Austin to take that cruiserweight title. And what form he did it was, I mean for me, complete shutout for this young man to take the title every round and finally the stoppage. Oh, yeah. champ, soon to be double champ, let's go. Ladies and gents, let's have both boxers to the centre of the ring please. Oh, 
Let me put on a couple of kudos. Yeah, it's all. 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 It's